Hi, welcome to what's happening here at the top five stories. At number one, as the 22nd Commonwealth Games ends today, it's August 2022 in Birmingham, the Nigerian team has bagged 35 medals, including 12 gold, 9 silver and 14 bronze medals. President Muhammad Wari applauded the athletes that were representing Nigeria in the competition. The president commended the 94 worthy ambassadors. The team included athletes like Toby Amushan, Joy Udo Gabriel, Rosemary Chukuma, Adijat Olarinoye, Rafiat Lawal, amongst others. At number two, the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency has arrested Pastor Anietie Okun Efiong after being caught with three drums of crystal methamphetamine, locally called Mpurumiri, believed to have been imported from India. The consignment was intercepted during a stop and search operation along Umohia Ikorepene Highway on Saturday, August 6, 2022. The NDLEA Director of Media and Advocacy, Femi Babafemi, disclosed this in a statement. Babafemi also disclosed that operatives of the Anti Narcotic Agency intercepted various illicit substances at some courier companies in Lagos State. They also arrested drug dealers at various parts of the nation. At number three, troops of the Air Tax Force Operation Handin Kai killed another notorious commander of Boko Haram named Alaji Modu, also known as Bembem. They also eliminated 27 other fighters in Borno State. The notorious commander and his fighters were killed on August 3rd by military airstrikes around the Mandara Mountains in the Guza local government area of Borno State. Sources within the military high command confirmed the news. Modu was a popular drug baron who went into armed robbery before joining the Boko Haram sect. At number four, the federal government through the budget office of the federation has revealed that it will begin the implementation of its proposed excise duties on telecommunication services and privileges in 2023. This is despite backlashes from the Minister of Communications and Digital Economy, Isa Pantami, and the Manufacturers Association of Nigeria. According to the ministry, this was in a bid to boost its non-oil revenue streams. Meanwhile, Nigeria Employers Consultative Association, in a statement issued on Sunday, opposed the move, saying it is self-destructive and counterproductive, adding that there was no better time for President Muhammad Bari's regime to reappraise current economic policies. At number five, Speaker of the Parliament of the Economic Community of West African States, Sidi Tunis, has ordered the immediate suspension of staff recruitment and set up a panel to investigate alleged malpractices in the recruitment process. The suspension followed allegations by the Nigerian delegation at the parliament that the country's candidates were marginalized in the recruitment. The Nigerian representation and the bloc also threatened to withdraw its membership. According to the statement, the work of the eight-man independent ad hoc investigation committee will start this month, with its findings expected within a week. That's all for now. See you next time on What's Happening.